Hey, welcome to the hot and spicy. Excited for this one. Bit of a new recipe. Um, I've been thinking, what can I have? What can I have? So I've come up with this. Good enough for a restaurant. This. Um, well, just before we start, this is going to be non-HD standard definition. It's a test for me to see if it's clear enough to view. You give me feedback as well if it's good enough. Uh, just for the hot and spicies, maybe. Um, the reason being, if it works, I can upload much earlier, you see. And it's um, easier altogether. But the uh, rest of the stuff should be in HD. Apart from the odd vlog, maybe. Anyway, back to this. That there is a mixture. I was going to buy a ready done one, but... Oh, I thought stuff it. So I bought some bean sprouts. There's some cabbage in there, believe it or not. A bit of um, carrot, peppers, bell peppers, bean sprouts, mushrooms, garlic, chilies, six chilies, which I added, and um, prawns. So it's a prawn, garlic, chili, stir fry. Prawn, garlic, chili, stir fry. And it even has, look at the sauce there. Um, see the orangey sauce? Beautiful it is. I'm the wrong job, baby. In the wrong job. Look at that. Ice cold carling. So, cheers. Welcome to Saturday night. That tastes double good this week. Because that's the first drink I've had since last Sunday. Why? Well, I'm just um, just trying to look after myself, having um, a lot of water and stuff like that. Going, I'm going nuts, I think. Anyway, let's try it. Heat-wise, it tasted nice in the pan. Let's try a uh, prawn then, some hot and ends. I love it when it works. Garlic bread, that flat bread stuff. Quite difficult to cook this. The reason being, this bit here burns if you want that bit cooked. But I think I mastered it. Mm. Mm. I also along with the six chilies, three big cloves of garlic. Um, I added a tablespoon of 100% pain or pain sauce from Tony. I've added uh, about two tablespoons of the um, Blue Dragon hot chilli sauce and two tablespoons of the Maya M-A-H-I sauce from Tesco. Prawns. Holy smoke. This is beautiful. Well worth a try. Mm. Excuse me. Wow. Oh, it's a lovely kick to it as well. How did I make it? Olive oil in the pan. Bit of a frying pan wok. It's a mixture. It's good to have high sides. If you do a stir fry, add what you use. Otherwise, buy a ready made stir fry box from the supermarket. Um, all mushrooms I put in as well. Four mushrooms. There we go. And what I did was blended the three cloves of garlic, six chilies, into my little blender. Once the oil's hot, put the chilies and garlic in, sizzly, sizzly. Then I added the mushrooms, let them go for a bit. Then you add, uh, cut up the, because everything's ready, got everything ready. Bean sprouts, peppers, a uh, bit of cabbage. 
I put some oh, scrapings of um, sort of slices of uh, pe potato peeler of uh, carrot. What else did I put in? Oh, oh, bean sprouts um, and uh, some other sprouty things. I can't remember what they were now. Look at that. That's what these are. Stir fry them. Then added the hot sauces, and um, this is the result. What happens is that with the veg, with the veg, when it reduces, steams if you like, reduces a lot of moisture that creates the sauce. A funny old week with weather. Oh, blame me. Windy. It was a yellow warning for rain yesterday. Wasn't too bad. A few heavy showers. It was quite rainy today. Um, but not bad during work hours, thankfully. Um, wind's picked up a bit now. Because the wind was supposed to be today. But I believe it's been much worse in other places, other parts of England, Wales, and and um, there was a big um, electrical outage. They call it yesterday. Two um, station, two were they? One of these stations um, had cut out together, so trains were left stuck on tracks and all this type of thing. You see that. Be close up. Beautiful. Quite healthy as well. Not that I'm bothered. Eat what I want. Um, nice meal, spicy, hot, but not blow your head off. Might blow your head off. Add chilies to your own discretion. Mmm, enjoying this. <laughs> right, I've been doing a bit of filming, I've been editing a bit as well this week for someone else. Um, well, I've done this last week, I've filmed little clips. Uh, during the week of something I think you may find interesting. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, starting on Monday, last Monday. And then just a couple of clips from that day maybe. One clip from Tuesday. I don't say what day it is during the video. It's just little clips during the week. And then I did a... We went somewhere the other day and I did a bit of a walk in there. Featuring something interesting hopefully. So I'm going to put that together tomorrow and maybe put it up tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, some other. Like if you want to watch, if you're interested. It's just a little, it's something new, something different I want to try. If it works, I'll do it more often. Dip the bread. Garlic bread. In a hot sauce made from the stir fry. Holy smoke. So it'll be called something like um I don't know clips of the week or something like that, I don't know. But it's something different and hopefully interesting. Are you out tonight? In Oh that's what I'm asking you. Tony if you're watching. Um, I've had two emails from you, but when I went to try and open them, Google went berserk and it said, This is dangerous, do not open or something. So I said, All right, all right, calm down. Big red it was. So I don't know whether you, it's something that was okay, but it, they sensed it wasn't. Knowing you will be something jokey or something. But um, I just thought I'd let you know in case, uh, if you haven't sent me anything. Who the hell is Tony? <laughs> anyway, 
I presume you did send some in, maybe, or whatever. Just let me know. Lovely. Mm. And the other thing which I love is everything. It's, it's it's cooked. See, there's a bit of cabbage there. See, just added different things. Good thing to do on a Monday with spare sort of cabbage or lettuce or whatever you want. Just chuck it in. But um, it's still it's cooked, but it's still got that slight crunch to it. Mmm, prawns are lovely. I haven't had prawns for a long, long time. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Big day tomorrow for Wales rugby. Uh, if something works out, I didn't catch what they said. If they, if it works out tomorrow, they could be first ranking or something the high, quite a high or the highest ranking rugby team or something like that mm. this is lovely glad I thought it up do you yourselves do you enjoy cooking or do you just prefer eating <laughs> I enjoy both, like as you can tell. But I, I don't know, the last, well, last few years, last five, maybe ten years, maybe, time goes so quick. I love experimenting, different things. But, so you just think of what you enjoy. And sometimes you might make something, oh, you think that doesn't go with that. Try it. A lot of times it works, you know. Just, Beautiful. Mm. Considering there's three cloves of garlic, quite big in this. Yeah, just a nice taste of garlic, not overpowering. Yeah, so I've done a few clips. All's okay with the uh, tomatoes are still green. I've had that one red one. None have come red. Well, it hasn't been weather for it yet for them to ripen. But uh, a lot of tomatoes, fair play. If they if it works out, a lot there. So um, I've been tying them up and propping them because because they're outside. They're going to be slower than in a greenhouse. Obviously, they'd be far ahead in a greenhouse, um, bigger and ripening. But um, with the wind, we've had this rough wind, so you've got to be careful. So everything's okay so far. The chilli plant, I've kept it, it's reflowered, and I've put it outside. I may have said this, put it outside, a couple of ants on it. Because I know ladybirds thrive on aphids. But these ants, I've seen one going up and down the stems, up each leaf, looking for them. And there's not been one aphid out there since I've left it out there. So maybe that's the secret. But you see, it's it's got to be quite hardened to be outside. Um, but it seems to be okay. So we'll see. You might get another crop of chilies before the summer's out. Absolutely delicious. I'd like to say hello to... Um, I forgot your name. To, I didn't forget your name. I forgot to ask your name. Sorry. Um, you approached me in Tesco and said hello when you watch the videos and hot and spicy. So it was nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping. It's, it's nice to meet people like that. So thanks for watching and thanks for stopping to say hello. Um, and I also had a nice chat with the the man from Schwartz. Have you heard of the spices? You know, the spice people. Uh, Schwartz and sauces and powders they do. So I had a nice chat with him. So it was good. 
productive day. Now then, tomorrow's gonna be different. Everything's different, so you gotta you gotta change it, baby. You gotta you gotta change the old systems. Not too much, but you gotta change it up sometimes. Well I'll try to. Tomorrow's Sunday dinner. Something different. We're gonna to top this up to tell you. What am I having? Right, something very different. I'm going to steam a bed of asparagus. So steam the asparagus on the plate. Dangerous mention this. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna steam some salmon fillets then I'll put the salmon fillets steamed on the asparagus season and black pepper then I will add, add steamed Pembrokeshire new potatoes surrounding the asparagus and the salmon they will be buttered and salted on top of that, I will add a creamy watercress sauce, which will be placed lashentos of Natalie, <laughs> lashentos of creamy watercress sauce on top of the salmon, and then eat. Fancy the change, is he? Oh, there's only twenty six in here. Not bad. Let's see. You having dinner tomorrow? You having a roast? Salad? Barbie? Going out? Beans on toast? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, is it? Tell you what I like. I have it sometimes, dinner time, like lunch time. Um, two rounds of toast, buttered. Um, big beans on top and two fried eggs with a runny yolk. Bloody hell. Making myself hungry, I'm eating. <laughs> this is lovely. Great success. Um, if I haven't got back to any comments, I'm sorry. Uh, pretty busy week. Uh, with everything, with working, my mother and everything. Um, and there's a thing what annoys me, this has annoys me. There was a, they're supposed to come and do a job at my mother's house. Uh, so, uh, my sister contacted me, to, why I'm telling you this, anyway, contacted me and said, look, somebody come in between, um, was it three and five or something? to do this little job so I said okay so I was there from quarter past two till half past three hadn't been I was early obviously but sometimes they might come up past two you see so um, I went there made a cup of tea I said do you fancy something to eat yeah she said I said what do you want a tomato sandwich <laughs> So I did a tomato sandwich, bit of salt. Went down a tree. Anyway, no sign of this chap. Then my brother come in. And uh, he was on shift then from me from half past three till five or till the chap's been. And he hadn't, he didn't turn up, you know. Didn't turn up. God, I felt that fury, you know, and she's not well. So... I don't know what's happened, maybe something happened, I don't know. It's not good, that. But otherwise, yeah, busy all week. And, uh, doing odds and sods. Oh, 
it's lovely. This is lovely. Anyway, I don't want these to go on. A bit late now, I know. But this is an absolutely delicious change. And this idea, soaking it up with the bread. <laughs> I wouldn't do it in a restaurant, obviously. Well, I might do, quietly. But we're all friends, no. Hoity tighty, here's a. No hoity tighty at the captain's table, baby. <laughs> oh, boot like it. Right, that's it. I'll leave you to it. So many thanks. Have a great weekend. I'll see you in the morning on the other one if you follow me. On there. So have a great uh, Saturday night or I hope you've had a great Saturday night. And an even better Sunday. So that was my prawn chilli and garlic stir fry. Hot fresh and delicious thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you tomorrow probably in this um, video i'm going to put together um not sure how long it'll be but i'll sort it out hopefully you'll enjoy it uh, if not i'll um i won't do it again you gotta just i'm just messing seeing what works and what doesn't but um hopefully it's entertaining for you but many thanks for your company for the chat dogs barking and um, I'll see you tomorrow yeah all the best take care